Hey, hey, everybody. John Hardison with you from East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia, Studio 113, Epic Academy. Let's take a look at Ed Puzzle today, which I think can be a part of the puzzle, pun intended, for creating blended learning videos or flip videos. So let's get started. I'm looking at Ed Puzzle right now, which does allow me to log in with my Google account. And I'm on the home screen. And you can see, of course, the shortcuts and announcements. I do kind of like this landing page here. But I'm going to go to my videos and get started. Ed Puzzle is going to allow you to find videos from various websites and crop them and add audio notes, audio tracks, and questions. So let's take a look at one I've already created, actually the only one I've created. Please notice it's from Rocky Balboa. And as you see these icons right up here, you'll see that I have already cropped it, added an audio note, and added a prompt or two. So let's take a look. Okay, when I click play, you'll see a lot of things pop up down here. These will be icons letting you know how I have edited this video. And just bear with me because obviously I'm using video tutorial screencasting software on top of Edpuzzle, which is a pretty interactive website. Here we go. Give it just a second to load. Now I want to stop it because it kind of skips over my audio note when I'm doing a video tutorial on top of this, but originally, if I pull this back, when the student first goes into this video to work the video, this is what he or she will hear. And hopefully you heard that audio note. And I added that audio note just to kind of let the students know what the intended plans were for this video. And you can see that I've added in some other things, some other prompts. And if I can scroll to that pretty quickly. All right, cool. So right there you can see I've added in a question, which is right up here. What is Rocky's thesis statement? I was simply using this video to show the students how this can be treated just like an essay with an introduction, a thesis, a, a body, supporting details, a conclusion. And so I've added these prompts to get them thinking along those lines. I'm going to click continue. I'm just going to drag it a little bit right here. And you get the idea. There's another prompt. And they can give a whole paragraph in there if they want. You can see where I've added another audio note and another question. So you get the idea of what you can do. What I would like to do is go back to my videos. And why don't we just create one right now in real time. So I'm going to create a new video. Here's the cool thing that I wanted to mention to you. You can search for all these videos, whatever you need within all of these sites right here. This is cool. So I'm actually searching within YouTube right now. I've already typed in Invictus, and then I know this is the video I want. I've already previewed it. But if I did not know that, I could watch the video right here within Edpuzzle and not have to go into YouTube or some other website. So I'm going to go here, click Use It. Okay, so as you can see at the top, I have all these icons that are going to walk me through making this video my own. I have crop, I have audio track, and I have audio notes, and I have quizzes, some prompts, some questions I can ask. And then, of course, this will be publishing or this will be finishing it up. Please note that right here, I have a lot of things that I could do. Uh, as far as clicking on show me how and it will take me to some tutorials whether text or maybe even video but if I click play if I click play I'm just going to pretend that for the sake of this video tutorial that I want to crop it right there and start my video tutorial where Matt Damon turns around and he's in this jail cell of Nelson Mandela so I'm going to drag it right here, and I'm going to drop it, 
and then let's just pretend that I maybe need to drag the ending in just a few seconds there we go and so I can watch that if I want to make sure everything's okay or I can just simply go up here click next and go to the next part which is audio track now here's something I want to make sure you understand on this the audio track is different than the audio notes which are right here the audio notes that I'm circling right here the audio notes are going to be where you can insert your voice but the video pauses and does not move on with the audio track as it states right down here you have to record the audio of the whole video to be able to save it so I don't want to do that my voice is nowhere near as good as Morgan Freeman as he reads this poem Invictus from Henley so I'm going to skip this step and now I'm at the audio notes. Now let's just let this play. Actually, I can drag it. Let me drag it right here. Let's say right here, as this comes on, I want to drop an audio note. So let's do that quickly. Hey, this is just a video from the movie Invictus in which Morgan Freeman reads Henley's poem. This was the poem that inspired Nelson Mandela. I stop that it gives me options to remove the notes to remove the last note remove all notes or I can click next and it will start to save to SoundCloud which at the bottom you'll see it says powered by SoundCloud so I'm going to click next and be patient and normally this does not take very long at all to upload this sound to SoundCloud I did not record a very long segment and as this records in just a second we can move on to the next part which will be adding some quizzes or some prompts to where the students can give us feedback and as I'm waiting I'll say that I really am enjoying this website I'm thinking it has huge potential there are a few things that I would like to uh, see them add but I'll get to that maybe in just a moment so now you can see I'm right here with the quizzes and I want to add a prompt and for the sake of this video tutorial I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and I'm going to stop maybe right here and I'm going to add a prompt and I'm going to say what is the tone or attitude of this poem and provide proof so that's what I'm going to say and I'm going to click done and then I want to go ahead and drag it just a little bit farther if I can as I click continue let me say let's say I want to drag it all the way down here to the end and I'm going to put one more prompt in I'm going to say using TP cast please analyze this poem TP cast is something we use in language arts uh, title paraphrase connotation attitude shift theme and then title again to quickly analyze a poem and give some feedback so that's something I could put in right here and then I could click continue and of course if I wanted to I can go back and I could maybe even drag it to right here and I could add an audio note in um, I can't again go back and add an audio track because I would have to have an audio track over the entire thing but I just wanted to let you know that you can go back and edit this after you have maybe passed a few steps but I am done with this video just for the sake of this video tutorial because I'm sure you get the idea of what you can do but I'm going to click done and here it gives me the option of uh, giving it a title I like the title I'm going to save and exit and I do not want to assign it right now I'm going to go to my videos so see here I go to my videos right here and I just want to take a moment to say that if I did want to assign this I go right here to assign I have already set up a class I have a dummy student right now that's me just an example is his name and if I wanted to I could easily click right here 
and then I could click save assignment and then this video would be in the class and at that time this video would provide a code that I would give to my students and my students would log in uh, type in that code and then of course they would complete the video I'm going to turn this off for just a second I'm going to go back to my videos and show you something pretty cool I want to go right here and see Let's see if I can find where I had. There we go. That's it. So if I go to my home page right here, notice when I go to this video, it says progress right here. So one student from my American Literature Honors student, our class has completed this, and that was me, my dummy student, just an example. And so I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go to the analytics. So you can see there's a lot of possibility here. I'll start with the fact that you can export the grades to CSV and I can actually click on just an example here and I can see what just an example put in for each question. So this goes with the Rocky video. What is Rocky's thesis statement? There we go. And as you can see right down through here, the student did a pretty decent job. Hopefully he would. And then there's everything. I can look at this. I can download it as a CSV file. I can even give some comments right here. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I know all about the analytics because I do not. And to be quite honest with you, I am doing this video tutorial so that I can learn how good of a tool this can be. But I can say right now that I see enormous potential with this website. I would like to see as this says right down here it says embed lessons anywhere embed your video lessons in other websites or LMS learning management systems let your students do their work directly on your platform however an email that I got said that if you do embed these videos into other websites or LMS's or blogs or whatever that you will lose the analytics function so I would like to see Edpuzzle develop an LTI link to where you could embed these videos into your LMS and then still uh, get all of the analytics. So I hope this has been very, very helpful. I've gone a little bit too long with this video, but uh, it is definitely something that you should check out when looking at Edpuzzle. It is something I will be using and I hope to see improvements and I hope to be using this website in my LMS. So I hope you all have benefited from this. Take care. See you.